movie. Okay, we've got a we've got a Saab here. It's a 2001. It's nine five. So it's a really clean Saab, but we've got an issue we want everybody to take a look at. So what we're going to do is we're going to start it, and our problem is we get white puffs of smoke. So let's give it a start. And let's see what happens. Look at that thing smoke. Now it just started to do that, came on almost instantaneously. The smoke is, uh, you know, it's not quite white, not quite blue, it's a hard, hard color. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the motor, see what, if anything, could be going on here. Check for bubbles. We're trying to determine if it's a turbo issue or if it could be a uh, problem with the uh, head gasket. You know that smoke coming out of that. That's, that's not good. Not good. The oil is it right up to where it's supposed to be. I don't like the sound of it. Go, go turn it off. One of the tests they, uh, that I read about, turn it off. That really, that, there's some noise coming out of that turbo. One of the tests that I read about was to disconnect this line right here. Look, can we pull that line off and check for the pressure? We've got, what happened? We got a dog that snuck in our in our service car when we were busy looking at it. And so now we can't get the dog out. That's not good. Okay, dog, come on. Whose dog is that? Bring that dog out here. Hey, dog. What are you doing getting in our service car? Hey, what do you eat? Oh, you found some food in that car? <laughs> found some caramel corn. I sure hope it's not too old. This is why we got to be careful around here. These strange dogs show up. All right, let's let's just do this quick test and see if it helps us at all. Um, we're gonna pull off that <coughs> crossover tube. Yeah, just want to make sure that the turbo is not the culprit here pulling the pulling the smoke. So look at that dog again. He's he's I cannot believe. Hey, you say hi, tell them we're working on it. Hang on people, we'll be with you on this car issue. We're just going to get a tool to pull a pipe. But in the meantime, we'll watch the dog. All right, here we go. We're going to pull the pipe. Got a wrench going. Now it's my hopes in this whole process to keep the audience informed about what the real problem is here because I've seen other videos on these and it's so hard to tell. I want everybody to know right up front what the problem is and if they get bored watching our video they can just go fix their car. Anyways, first test we're just going to remove this tube. I don't know why the guy in the on the uh, internet told us to do this but you know, we, we're suckers for internet movies. All right. Ooh, be careful. It's out of there. Is it clean? Is there oil in it or anything? Nope. Clean, clean tube? Clean, clean, clean. All right. Get back, dog. Get back, people. Here we go. We're going to start it again. I'm going to stand back a little bit. Let's see. Our oil. You know, car it runs totally different. Can you give it a little gas to see if this can burn off? Oh, look at we got uh, we got we got stuff coming out of our tailpipe dropping. Let's check what that is. Bunch of stuff. Yeah, it's dropping on the grass. Water. 
All right, did their smoking issue go worse or better? Or no different. You know, I'm gonna say no different. We just got a rough mile to it now. Yeah, we no, just. That's that a little blue there, wasn't it? All right, good test. Don't know what we did, but we're gonna continue with our I don't know theory. That's pretty weird. All right, I'm gonna have to take a short intermission here. We'll get back to you on uh, what else is can be going on.